Hi, Sylvia here, founder of Amadira. While going through cancer treatment, I spent hours researching and speaking to professionals about health topics. And I created this channel not only to share my insights with you, but to your be your buddy when it comes to your health. Now, in another video, I talked about the seven research-backed benefits of art therapy. Research has shown that coloring can help put you into a meditative state and bring you calm. And that's why I put coloring books and pencils into Amadira's Mind Care gift box. I see a lot of cancer patients coloring in waiting rooms and I wanted to help gift it to other cancer patients, especially new ones. There can be two problems with it. One, sometimes it's just no fun doing it on your own. And two, when you're fatigued, even getting out a coloring book like this can be too much effort. When I was going through treatment, I hated lying tired in bed. My brain wanted to do all these things, but my body was saying no. So today, I thought we'd put on some meditation music and just color together for 10 minutes. And if you're watching from a chair bed and can't scrounge up the energy to color, that's okay too. Hopefully this video can bring some activity to your mind, even while your body rests up. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll be in a better, calmer place, ready to take on whatever is next in your day. Okay, so give yourself a smile, take a few big meditative deep breaths, and let's get started. So for this exercise, you will need some coloring pencils and a coloring book. I'm going to be using the ones from the Amadira Mind Care box. So for those of you who have it, feel free to follow along. I'm going to be going into the Animal Kingdom book on this page, my favorite, the bird. Now the Amadira Care box also comes with the fabulous pencil crayons. Feel free to use those or supplement. I personally just love getting into different colors to express what I'm feeling in the moment. So I have my lovely large pack here that I keep at home. I always break out this bad boy whenever I want to have fun. And so we're going to do today. Okay, let's color. All right, so as we start, like I said, let's take a few deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Started with a nice green color here. Now, when I first came across these coloring books, I was looking at them and just feeling very old. Only these lines are like super super thin i don't know how people are supposed to manage getting in there then i've actually really come to appreciate how thin these lines are because it really really requires me to focus so when i have a super super busy mind and maybe that's you today Going into these really thin layers of coloring pulls my mind into the present. It's really, really fast. Because I find if it's not actually a hard enough task, it's very easy for your mind to just keep wandering and sticking to whatever it had wanted to be doing. And for a lot of time, for me anyway, that's whatever is happening at work. So as you're doing this with me, it's just make sure that you release the tension that maybe you're holding in your shoulders. And you let all of that go. Maybe even imagine yourself as we're doing this, that you're actually in the nature with our bird friend here in some fantastical jungle where, yes, the leaves are green and blue. Because why not? 
and I will have to say I'm actually very happy with these pencil crayons that we have in the Amadeira care boxes. I am a bit of an art snob and these pencil crayons live up to my expectations. Soft lead, you can get into these edges really well. So what colors have you chosen for yourself today? Maybe you're finding it therapeutic to be coloring in calm, cool colors like the blues and greens. Maybe you're feeling like this orange that I have here, a little bright, jumpy, super energetic. Maybe you're feeling yellow, just happy. I'm still breathing. Before I got cancer, if you told me that I would be doing coloring in a YouTube video, I don't think I would have ever believed you. In fact, I don't think I would have believed anybody telling me that adult coloring is a thing. But it happens to be a thing. Nowadays, I happen to love it. I've actually been carrying these types of coloring books with me everywhere. Ever since I realized that uh, a lot of people were using it in cancer care waiting rooms. It's just whenever I need to calm my mind down, this is there. So are you still breathing? and be present with what you're doing. And feel how the pencil crayon sits in your hand. Feel how the light is meeting the paper. Oh, windy day. Feel what it might be like to live in a world of just pure, pure color. Reminds me of that uh, song from the Pocahontas movie, the Disney one. You know where they talk about painting in the colors of the wind? It sounds so beautiful to be able to do that. If you were to be painting the colors of the wind, what colors do you think would be in there? Is it a rainbow for you? So maybe just the blue because it's the sky. to realize that so many people find this useful that you can actually get apps on your phone where you can do coloring by just tapping pieces of the drawing so you know imagine tapping this leaf here and it just turns the color you want If 
you're feeling like you can't really be carrying all of these materials around with you, maybe that's something you can look into. I, of course, have been trying to actually not look at the screen as much, so... Coloring books work just fine. Still breathing. Are you hearing the music? Feeling the colors still. Let's move it to my green. Oh, I've forgotten Mr. Bird over here. Been so preoccupied with the leaves. Madeira gift boxes. We actually labeled these uh, coloring pencils and coloring books. Getaway coloring. I'm kind of wondering how appropriate you guys think it is. For me, there's the getaway of being present, but then there's also just the getaway of looking at this scene. Like, can you imagine yourself? being in this colorful world maybe having a pet bird sometimes i feel like it's uh very interesting how by taking your mind somewhere else you end up actually being more present all right maybe we'll just end with this leaf here sure how you guys are finding my moon masterpiece here but like I said art therapy is not really about how it looks at the end it's just how you felt doing it and I have loved this little exercise hope you did too and would you look at that we're at 10 minutes already how'd you find that let's shake out that wrist well I hope you liked the quick coloring session and that it brought some calm and relaxation to your day. If you want to keep going, by all means, don't let this video ending keep you from going on. When I do this, I always get reminded that whatever is weighing on me probably isn't as bad as I imagined it to be. And I am glad that I took the time out of my busy day to do art. So I hope you can give yourself a pat on the back for investing the time also. Self-care is super important. Okay, until next time, take care, and remember to subscribe for more. Bye.